Hello everyone. Greetings from First Tabernacle Community Church. I'm Reverend Claudia Randolph, one of the ministers here at First Tabernacle. It's a blessing to be before you to bring you the word of God on today. To God be the glory. We're going to get straight into the word on today. Um, my thing is there is peace in the presence of God. There is peace in the presence of God. In Philippians, the fourth chapter, it talks about this peace that surpasses all understanding. Amen. And we know that God's word is true on today. Amen. So I'm going to read the scripture to you. Philippians 4, I'm going to start at the fourth verse and I'm going to go down. My text verse is coming from 4 and 9. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do. And the God of peace shall be with you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now I'm going to start up at the top. It says rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing. But in all things, in all prayers and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Finally, brethren. Whatsoever things are true and whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do and the God of peace shall be with you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord God for his word on today. In this portion of scripture, it talks about Christ. Christ being the Christian strength, rejoicing in anxiety. Hallelujah. That we are to rejoice in spite of the circumstances and what's going on around us or what it looks like. Why? Because the scripture says we walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we being the children of God, know the word of God and understand that God said that he will be with us even to the end of this world. Hallelujah. And we thank God for his will and his word on today. Glory to God. We thank God that not only is his peace, this is present in his peace, but he also sent his son our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to be the prince of this world. Amen. And this prince of peace is what he brought to the people. Now, this is only one of his attributes, peace, and one of the works that he done. But he brought peace to all men. Amen. And Isaiah 9 and 6, it speaks on Jesus Christ being the prince of peace. Amen. And in Hebrews, the word peace means shalom. Hallelujah. And shalom means calm and tranquility. Glory to God. That even no matter what's going on, that we can have a calmness and be tranquil in spite of what it looks like. And we know with this coronavirus going around and it's running rapid through the land. Amen. And we know that um, this is trying times for everyone. And there's people that are panicking. There's people that are fearful, even scared. And rightfully so, in some cases, especially those who don't know the Lord. But we, as children of God, understand that if God be for us, he's more than a whole world against us. And we also understand that we have an adversary. And that is Satan. And he is trying to bring fear upon the land that we may not have hope and let and decrease our victory. But we know <laughs> that we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Hallelujah. And just as God sent his son, 
into the world to be the Prince of Peace. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ also sent us. He said in his word, in Matthew, the fifth chapter, that blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We thank God for who he is on the day, and we believe his report. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Because, see, we know that Jesus is our shield and our buckler. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ himself, see, that's a deeper meaning in this peace that we have. Amen. It's a deep meaning. It's a deep, deeper fundamental meaning of peace in the is a spirit. See, this peace is a spiritual harmony brought about by an individual restoration with God. Why? In our sinful state, we were enemies of God, it says in Romans 5 and 10. But God demonstrated his own love toward us. And while we were yet sinner, Christ died for us. And because of Christ's sacrifice, we are restored to a relationship of peace with God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are to walk in that peace. Lord God, it is so good to us that we can give this peace that they talks about this divine peace in the scriptures to others. Amen. Because it's supposed to edify and build and comfort and encourage. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Now, this deep abiding peace between our hearts and our creator, it cannot be taken away. It speaks on it in John, the 10th chapter, verses 27 and 28. And it says the ultimate fulfillment of Christ's work was to be peace. Amen to all men. Glory to God. And we like to thank God for his word on today. Amen. Now, this the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. And the word of God comes to guide us and lead us. Amen. It's a light into our pathway. Amen. And we can see our way and we are to abide in it and in, in, in us. Amen. And if we do so, we can ask what we will and it shall be given. Hallelujah. So we thank God for his word on today. He said his word is our shield and our buckler. The shield is a weapon. Amen. That to protect us from fiery dots. And the buckler is the armor that covers the whole body. Hallelujah. So God is our protector. And in his word, it protects us. And he said in his word that it is going to do exactly what it set out to do. And it will not come back unto him void. Heaven and earth will pass away first before his word be alive. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for your word on today. And in the 91st division of the Psalms, it assure us as believers, as children of God, that we can find a secret place of security in God's peace also. Amen? Amen. It says here that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowler and from the noiseless pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wing shall thy trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. So thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the error that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Hallelujah. That's a promise from God. Hallelujah. We can stand on that. Amen. Glory to God. In these trying times, we need God's word to stand on. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you for it. Listen, and we have to understand as peacemakers and, and children of God that 
we have to walk in this peace. And because when we filled with the, the joy and the unspeakable joy and the love of God and that peace that we just talking about that surpasses all understanding, it flows over into other relationships and the people that we are around. Amen. And as children of God, we're supposed to carry the word with us and we're supposed to be able to bring peace to men and have peace with men. Now, 1 Peter 3 and 11 says, Turn from evil and do good. They must seek peace and pursue it. So we are to seek this peace and pursue it. Amen. Run after it. Amen. Amen. The things which make peace and which also the things by which we may edify, build up others, giving them comfort in these days of hardship. We need to uplift them. And we should always be able to have an answer and always bring them good tidings. Amen. And this is good tidings. To have a peace no matter what's going on around you. People, the man can give that to us. Only the divine love of God can give us such peace. Glory to God. It says in Hebrews 12 and 14, follow peace with all men and holiness. Without it, man shall not see the Lord. Amen. So again, it says follow peace with all men and holiness. Without it, no man shall see the Lord. Hallelujah. So we want to be pleasing in thy sight. And we want to do the will of God. So we need to take this word and run with it. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Romans 14, 17 through 19 says, For the kingdom of God is like meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. For he that in these things serves Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So there are benefits in being peacemaker. Amen. Amen. It says, so let us therefore follow after the things which make peace and the things wherewith one may edify one another. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. I thank God for his will and his word and his way on today. In the name of Jesus, I tell you that he is truly an awesome God. He is truly an awesome God. And we are to abide in him and his word in us. Amen. Amen. So we can know what is pleasing to God. And what it is that we need at, to in this world to, to be able to sustain this, this glorious love walk that we have with the Father. In the name of Jesus, I thank God for his presence of peace. I thank God for his peace that surpasses all understanding and unspeakable joy that comes with it. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. I thank God because his word is true, it says in the Bible. And we have to have faith. Amen. Paul talks about in Ephesians 6 and 16, the shield that I was just talking about is the shield of faith. Amen. And the shield of faith, we have to trust God. You know, it says in the scriptures in the Hebrews the 11th chapter, the 6th verse, that it is impossible to please God without faith. Because we must believe that he is God and a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hallelujah. So we need to seek God. We need to seek his peace. We need to seek him like hidden treasure. Amen. So in these trying times, we can be triumphed in the victory that is already won by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I thank you for allowing me to come before you and bring, break the bread of life with you and talk about this peace that God has given us that is a part of this salvation package. Hallelujah. That Jesus Christ bought and restored us 
back to him, amen, and that we can walk in this here thing, that we don't have the fear, because God has not given us the spirit of fear. Hallelujah. I thank you, and I love you. Be blessed. Now, um, I would like for you all to tune in. I thank you for all for tuning in, and I would like for you all and encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, FTCC Rising. Again, FTCC Rising. God bless you, and peace be with you.